Let's meet the two married women here inside the yacht. It's Mrs. White and Mrs. Peacock. Oh, look, another New Year's reveler. Have you found anything fun to do on this creepy boat? Not really. I'm just talking to people, introducing myself at this moment. So, Mrs. Peacock, tell me about yourself. Why did you come here? Did you want to get away from everything? What about those rumors that you were having an affair with a senator? Oh, don't tell me that you're going to throw those ugly old rumors in my face. I simply had to leave the States. I tell you, that senator's wife would have killed him even if he wasn't friends with me. And I have to admit that the chance to see Green again was inviting. Okay, so she fled the United States to avoid a murderous senator's wife, which, to be honest, sounds like it would be an amazing mystery as well. I would totally play that video game. The murdering senator's wife. Okay, so what do you think about the other guests? I met Green in New York, working his way through the city's women, whether married or not. But when he met me, something seemed to click. But I couldn't shake the feeling that he wanted something from me. And I once went to a Sabata show. You know, some people say the mad artist's paintings portray the future. Now that is mad. That does seem kind of strange. Futuristic paintings. What do you know about Mask? Have I... you seen oh. our host's castle? More like a nightmare on a mountain. A madhouse built by a madman. But do you want to know... Uh, Little secret? Mask ran out of money after building it. All gone! And none of these desperate people on board know this. Except me. Well, now I know it. And Mrs. White, who's just sitting there, spying on us. Well, yeah, hmm. Okay, so maybe Mask lost all of his money. Which is sad, because Mr. Green is here to get Mask's money. What do you know about magic? You're asking the wrong person. Hmm, okay. Nobody here seems interested in magic so far. So let's move across the table to Mrs. White. Oh, you startled me. Creeping up so slowly. Y you should make a bit of noise when you walk. Mrs. White has a Scottish accent? Wow, I had no idea. Uh, hi, Mrs. White. Tell me about yourself. Uh, why do you think you were invited? No reason at all. Uh, though I did see that some of the bric-a-brac here was found by Sir Alexander Body. I was the nanny for his son Xavier, but that was so many years ago. Hmm, so you haven't seen Mr. Body recently, is that what you're saying? Okay, what do you know about the other people here? Let's see. Um, I know that Mr. Green's family fortune just vanished. The tabloids were full of that story. And that magician fellow, uh, Martin Urf, the same thing happened to him. And I'll tell you one more thing. That artist fellow, Sabata, he gives me the creeps. It sounds like everyone here is dead broke. Oh my gosh. Ian Mask? Never. Uh, that's why I'm so jumpy. Heavens, why did he invite me? I had never met the man. At least I don't think so. Hmm, well, maybe you were invited because of the body connection. I don't know. What do you know about magic? Sorry? Sorry? And that's that. Okay, so... What happens if I click here? The Urn de Mythos, a fascinating artifact. Ooh, so we have a very valuable urn. This picture doesn't seem very useful. So it looks like the, uh, looks like the magnifying glass cursor will light up if there's an item I can pick up. We've got a very valuable vase. 
I'm not picking up any of those items, I'm just looking at them. Okay, well, Miss Scarlet wanted me to get a drink from downstairs. What is this? This is calling to me. Oh, it's probably locked. Mask has quite a collection of puzzle boxes. Oh, puzzle boxes! I want to solve them! We're going to have to solve them, right? Those are totally puzzles here. I love how we've got puzzles in murder mystery games. Nobody's been killed yet, though. Nobody, nobody's been killed yet. Hmm, I wanted to take a look. Uh, if I could turn right to the corner. I mean, turn left. No, 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 I don't want to go to these doors. I wanted to take a look at this this cabinet. And what is this statue, too? It's a little cherub. Huh. Whoa, and there's a, a woman who's just standing there. Huh. Well, it doesn't look like I can take a look at that display case. Uh, ah! Okay, how do I turn to speak to the woman? There we go. Okay, so let's meet these people. Oh, it's the last arrival. You nearly missed this boat. You must be the psychiatrist. Why are you here? Let's say that I'm trying to do my traveling outside Germany before 1939. Hmm, okay. Looks like she's taking a last chance to travel before World War II starts. Do you treat? I mean, do you know any of the guests here? These guests? I know nothing about them professionally. I have read of our little Russian friend Popov in secret dossiers. Turns out she participated in the Soviet ESP experiments. It's a great help in her spying, I'm sure. Okay. Hold on a second! Secret dossiers? What secret dossiers? Why do you have access to secret dossiers, Kel? I find that suspicious, and I know absolutely nothing about uh, the this, this Soviet ESP experiments. You're gonna have to t explain more. No. Okay, well in that case, keep your secrets. I don't need to know. I can't help you there. Oh man, and she won't even talk to me about magic. What about Mask? Do you know him? Mask. Didn't know him at all. Though he'd make a classic psychiatric patient. I'm sure he exhibits some unique pathology. I never met him until I boarded the ship. Hmm. Okay, well, that seems to be it for her. So let's see. It doesn't look like there's anything I can look at. It looks like you can go forward. Uh, forward, left, and right. So I imagine right takes me to plumb, left takes me to pop off. Or not, going left takes me all the way across the room. Whoa, okay. Oh, it does take us to Pop-Off. Hey, Pop-Off. Is there anything else I can look at? Nope, just her. I shouldn't bother her now. It might disrupt her rhythm. Wow, that's, that's nice of me. And what about you? Sabat was your name? Sabata, Sabata. Are you here on sabbatical? Go away. Can't you see I'm creating? Go away! You're not creating anything, sir. You're just sitting in place. Ah. Wow, this guy's not happy. Ah. Okay, do you know about ESP? Ah. Okay, Sabata. Can you give me your best impersonation of a sheep? Bah. 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 Yes, you sound just like a sheep. Good job, sir. Good job. Okay, so, uh, hmm, I wonder why there's a cello here. Well, let's talk to Professor Plum here. Might as well. Oh, uh, hello. I say, uh, didn't we meet at the museum gala last spring? Perhaps not. Perhaps not. So, Plum. Tell me about yourself. What draws you to this party, Professor? Why, the amazing collection on this ship. Strange lot, don't you think? 
Nearly every object here is connected to the Egyptian cult of the netherworld, the so-called Death Cult of Egypt. Mask seems to have a one-track mind. Okay, he, he, he said, oh, I'm here because of the strange collection. I'm like, well, that's not a very nice way to refer to all the various people here. It's accurate, but it's not very nice. But no, he's actually talking about artifacts. So what do you know about the, uh, the strange motley crew that, uh, is here on the yacht? I don't know anything about that. Really, I've just been sitting in my chair, haven't talked to anyone. What do you know about Mask? Mask? Uh, nothing, except he's a collector. Incredibly wealthy, and must be an amazing eccentric to build a castle on top of a mountain. I'm hoping he'll fund my expedition to the Gobi Desert. Everybody here seems to really need money, yeah. What do you know about magic? Sorry, I have no answer for you. Ow, oh, oh, you're killing me, Professor. What about ESP? I don't know anything about that. Hmm. It's kind of a shame that we can't skip over conversations in this game. I seem to be running into a lot of conversations where I try to talk to a character, but they know absolutely nothing about the topic. So, Plum, where did Mask get these artifacts? Whoa. Every artifact here was discovered by Sir Alexander Body, an amazing explorer. I knew him from his museum exhibits. He was an amateur Egyptologist, but he made some incredible finds. Then, of course, he died with his wife in a tragic plane crash. It was in all the papers. He was survived by a son who apparently vanished. Okay, Professor Plum's legs got really weird when he was talking about that. Huh, well, did you come here for the party, or for the artifacts? Well, perhaps. I've seen similar items, of course, in the Cairo Museum. Not on display. They were considered too disturbing since some say the cult of the netherworld is still strong. Hmm, mysterious. What do you think about Mask's strange collection? Is there a secret? Well, you know about the original discoverer, don't you? How Alexander Body and his wife died in a suspicious plane accident. Tell me, how did Mask get all this stuff? Can you tell me that? Are you saying he stole things from Mr. Body? Or are you perhaps intimating that Mr. Body was killed just so someone could steal his fabulous discovered artifacts? Hmm. Well, that's quite the mystery.